Good morning, everybody. You know when your hair just gets greasy to the point that you start to look like a little bit bald? <laughs> We've reached it. Morning, everyone. So, my name is Lily, if you're new. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank you so much. Why am I pointing at you with... It feels a little bit aggressive. Okay, so I've decided to do my review for Crown of Midnight today. I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much to everyone who's been super lovely. In response to my last couple videos, I've mentioned that it's not been a great period for me right now. I'm starting to come good. They're easing the restrictions for everything, like, tomorrow, which is amazing. Can't wait for that shit. I don't know if today is the right day to film this. It's a very low energy day, you know? We've got, like, the grey stormy clouds outside. It's just a little bit depresso, but we're gonna march through yeah people said they like the format of getting ready and talking about my book that i read i'm gonna do that again okay so we have an issue okay so we don't have foundation love that fucking amazing crown of midnight this is the second book in the throne of glass series all right crown of midnight where do we kick off fuck i read this so long ago now i honestly feel like i like this book less than the first two it just felt a little bit like okay What's happening? We're here, but why are we here? Um, if you read Throne of Glass and you skip the novella bind up, this will be the first book where you actually see Selena like living up to her reputation, I guess is the way to say it. You actually see her fighting and doing cool shit that we didn't get in the first book. So I feel like this book really delves more into the magic system and like there's a lot more world building in this book as well. Because I feel like in Throne of Glass, the magic system was just like a weird ass interjection into the plot towards the end and it just it's not that it felt like out of left field but it was like underdeveloped so i feel like this is the book where you get all like the world building and like the magic system assassin's blade kind of gives us selena's backstory and like the character setup and then throne of glass just gives us nothing look you can see that this book is more of just like setting up the other books in the series. It was entertaining as a trash read. Let's just call Spade a Spade. If you haven't read Crown of Midnight, I would leave now if you are trying to avoid spoilers. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Okay, um, like and subscribe. Um, and also comment. Let's proceed. So, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Nehemia being killed off. That honestly felt, okay, the, okay. <gasps> Okay, so I honestly hated that. Like, why the fuck did they have to kill off Nehemia? She's one of the only good characters. <laughs> she was one of the only good characters and you kill her off. Are you fucking kidding me? And why? And for what? I just, okay, here's my beef with it. Because like, first of all, Nehemia's character was done so fucking dirty in this series. Because when she came in first, okay, first of all, Nehemia is the only other female character. First of all, she's the only, like, she's the only person of colour in the whole fucking series, first of all. Second of all, she's the only other female that isn't, that's like normal, you know, that's not described as being like a dumb bitch or like a scheming castle hoe out to steal a crown. She's the only other female character that's like not a weak loser. The only other positive female character in the book, I feel. I was like, okay, cool. Bare minimum, but at least she's there. They're in Throne of Glass, they tried to do that weird plot line where like Nehemia was low-key evil. That weird, I don't know. And it lasted for like three chapters and then they were like, never mind, she's good the whole time. And it's like, what was that? Yeah, and then they just fucking kill her off. Like, see you later. She had to die so that a movement could be set in place or so that Selena would embark on a quest. But further the plot in what way? I understand that the death of the princess could like spark a rev uh, what's it called? Revolution or like a rebellion. Like, okay, if Nehemia really had to die, like give us someone else. Like give us another female character that's not lame. Give us something. Is qualm the right? I feel like qualm is such a like 1900s word to use, but like that's my qualm <laughs> with that. And then they gave her that weird line about like, oh, Nehemia knew she was gonna get killed and she like willingly went to her death and like all the okay like fucking pack it up i just nehemia deserved better and also we deserve another character now to replace her because what the fuck are we left with now kale and dorian like oh 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 thank you so much sarah g mass <laughs> what a gift i just feel like there are a lot of things in this book that i just didn't give a shit about yeah nehemia's death was fucked <sighs> just ooh, picturing it Oh, and then when it turns out that Archer was the one that solicited Nehemia's death. Oh, can we just talk about Archer for a sec? Because that guy was such a skis. I'm so sick and tired of Selena deciding to spare people who just 
shouldn't be spared. Like that bitch that poisoned her and left her in the desert. Archer, who's just a skeezy fuck, killed her best friend. And then he was really smug about it. When, when Selena was going to spare his life, I was like, you know what, bitch? You better turn around and stab this motherfucker because if you don't, I'm going to do it. So there's this scene where it's Dorian. Dorian is the prince of the kingdom, right? His little brother, who's also a prince, but also a piece of shit. He comes home from like boarding school. And they're throwing him this massive party. Um, and there's like a carnival that they set up on the castle grounds, I think. This witch called Barbara Yellowlegs shows up. And she's in this little fortune telling tent. She's got, she's got yellow legs. She's got onion breath. Iron pointy teeth. Looks a mess. I loved her. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. She was everything that I ever wanted. I love, like, she's just really out here trying to scam rich people. Basically, you can pay her to ask her questions. You can ask this witch questions. And I don't know if it's because she's, like, magical and can see into the future or if she just knows a lot of shit because she's been alive for, like, a million years. But you ask this witch questions and she charges. She'll also let you pay to find out what questions the person who went in before you asked. She's really just trying to hustle. Barbara Yellowlegs is really just trying to get her bag. And I respect that about her. Nothing but respect for my Barbie Yellow Legs. She is a businesswoman. She's like an MLM boss babe. She really said like two for one secrets, like DM if interested. Then Selena kills Barbie Yellow Legs, which was so unwarranted. Like I know, I know Barbie Yellow Legs tried to attack her and kill her and like eat her, but unwarranted. Selena being the heir of Terrison. Was that even a surprise? We all knew that. As soon as they said that there was a lost heir and the heir like disappeared 10 years ago when like Selena happened to be like abandoned and found in a lake 10 years ago. Her parents are dead and like also the heir of that kingdom also like the leaders died like around the same time. Like yeah, so when they were like, oh no, Selena's the heir of Terracent. I'm like, snore, boo, revive yellow legs. Out of the whole Team Kale, Team Dorian thing, I feel like I'm happy she ended up picking Kale because no offense to Dorian, but like absolutely get the fuck out of the book. Look, we love a brooding training instructor and we fucking hate an annoying ass prince that thinks he's charming, but isn't charming. Every time Dorian was in a scene, it was just like, oh, here we go. Get me the fuck out of here. Every time he would like, Speak, like I'd just be like, oh no. When he got his little magic powers, I was like, here we fucking go. Like now he's not gonna stop talking for the rest of the book. Like Jesus. No, no, no. Oh my God, the fucking, can we just talk about this scene here? I'm gonna put, I'll give you a minute. If I had to read that, you have to read it too. When ro when books do this, when there's like this one kiss between the um like the protagonist and the love interest. Like I hate when they describe a kiss, like just obliterating a person's soul. Like just, <laughs> shattering their life apart like bitch there is no fucking way kale is kissing people that good like there's no fucking way with his crusty ass like mountain trainer captain of the guard i'm imagining his lips being like rusty fucking nails like there's no way don't even try i'm not gonna believe you that is fiction right there that is the real fantasy okay can we just talk about that creature underneath the library that weird creature that tried to kill them at the end so i was picturing a cross between professor lupin in werewolf form from memory his werewolf wasn't it wasn't like a twilight werewolf it was like some <laughs> his werewolf was like some weird shrivelly nutsack like pan's labyrinth looking i was picturing that what's the main character from ozark what's his name the dad the dad from ozark jason whatever is it? jason bateman his face <laughs> His face. I'm so fucking lazy. I can't even get my pencil brush. I'm just like squeezing the shit out of this. Do not take makeup advice from me, okay? I'm just here to talk shit about this book. I think that's pretty much everything I want to say. I'm just, okay, overall thoughts. I'm not a huge fan of the magic system in this series, okay? I'm just not. The weird key system, I'm kind of like, what is this? I just, I don't know if I just don't fully understand it or if I just don't care, but I'm just not like fully into the magic system. I don't like either of the love interest options. I do like Kale. I just feel like option C, Selena should just be single, you know? I want that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes in Air of Fire. Um, I think everyone says that it like completely changes pace. Let me know what you thought on this book in the comment section below. We'll have a chat. Leave a spoiler warning just in case. Nah. <laughs> Fuck them. Leave a yellow emoji in solidarity with Barbara Yellow Legs if you made it to this point in the video. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you...
next time. Bye!